Hey everyone, it's John Isaias here from the Automator, and uh, I have this little secret. I've, I've had an annoying thing I haven't updated in a while, and I thought I'm going to spring it on Isaias and ask him for some help in moving stuff. I think what you're going to see here is that, you know, finding ways to tackle things, it really depends. You know, you need to look at the data itself and see what's there, and here we'll see if Isaias can figure out a, a good, simple way to tackle this thing I've been wanting to do for like three months, but I just haven't touched yeah. it. There you go. So basically, I'm just going to try to see the problem for the first time and see what I can come up with. And depending on what, what I'm going to be looking for is any pattern that I could find quickly to help me do whatever you need. So I, I we'll, we'll see what, <laughs> what you're bringing for me. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay. So what what I've been doing in the newsletter, right? Uh -huh. Um, I have a little template somewhere. I think it's actually under here um, that I come in here and, and I use this as my template and yeah. it has, you know, like the structure. Yeah, I go I back and update it. Yeah. It's got emojis I commonly use. Fine. Um, and then if you look in actually going back, right, for as long as I've been doing it, I have it organized. So under Word, here is the, the four, you know, four. So January and February. And, and so on. I'm sorry, right. right. And then I have, so there's, then there's that, and then there's the HTML because I convert it all to HTML, right? So for each one. You have also, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. But what, what I realized was this is really annoying to have the Word documents all grouped together and the HTML documents all grouped. I should have had them Put structured them all together. Right. by the month and then within the month, have both Word and HTML in that month. Right. So right. you would like to I, kind of like move everything into their respective yeah. folders? Yeah. So I thought, hey, you know, this could be, uh, um, it's easy to go forward, right? But I'm like, you know what? I'd like it to be consistent. So instead yes. of manually doing this, I was like, can you think of... A script that would do that? Yeah. How would we write? I mean, is oh, it oh. worth automating? Yeah, Sure. Actually, yes. So so basically what I think the only thing that changes is this part right here, which is the instead of HTML, it would be Word. I think all the other folders are structured the same, 2022, yeah, one, right? So what that means is that I would do a script that would loop over the HTML folder and for each file, move it into the same location, but instead of HTML, it would be the Word folder. So... It is very simple to automate. It's not, I don't think it would be a problem. So long as this part here is the same, then yeah, definitely. Right. So let me let me open up. You know what I'm gonna do too is just uh let's go to creative and I'm gonna get these two guys and copy them and Into, just right, exactly. I don't have faith. But, uh, <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. Don't worry. You're like, hey, you know what? Then reverting is easily. easily. Right, exactly. No problem. So what we're going to do is a loop files. Um, then it would be HTML start dot start, which means just every file. And then we start. Those are under Dropbox, where I, th I think you should have access okay. to scripts to work on, newsletter, newsletter manager, source. Let me see, hold on. Scripts to work on. Uh, you said newsletter manager? Newsletter, newsletter manager, you said, right? Um, newsletter, yeah. And then source, under uh -huh. source. That would be creative, then. There's the creative, yeah. Yeah, under creative, under source. Right. Okay, cool. No, so what I would do from this newsletter newsletter thing, as this is going to be a different script because that source folder is just for the newsletter manager. So I've, made, I've moved the creative outside of newsletter manager here. Let me just do that real quick. Share your Let me share my screen now. Yeah. So can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. So I just moved the creative folder into newsletters outside of newsletter manager because this is this is a totally different script, right? I would assume. So now here, 
what I want to do is create a new script. Let's say hk for now. And I want to loop files. I'm going to get HTML, HTML, everything in there. I want to recurse as well and only the files. I don't want the folders. And I now want to output a loop file full path. That just to verify that I'm getting what I actually need. And I want to stop there. So yeah, I get HTML. So there are some files that are not part of what I'm looking for. Okay, so not only that, I want to 2022, right? Well, is everything that is end it, if it ends with HTML, the extension is HTML, that'll take care of it. All right. Oh, okay. So basically, if I just put this, it should give me no, so there are some HTML files outside of the 2022 folder. So I, I just want to work on those, right? Just the ones from 2022. Right. So now I have 2022.01. The only thing that I have to change is HTML from there, right? So I want to make sure, uh, hopefully, now from this side, I don't think it's going to be anything that says HTML on the file name except for the extension. So I want to change this part right here. Just to make sure that I change the correct thing. Me, and I'm just, I'm saying this just because people might watch this at some point, is, again, like I did with the desktop, you know, copy it all. I would copy all this to, like, C colon slash temp. So the, uh -huh. the the path is tiny. It's very small. Right. So okay. There's, there's no spaces because right. I both know at times. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. In this case, I think it will not really well, in create this a problem. You're a better programmer than I am. Right. <laughs> no, I'm like, I don't you know mean. what? I can create a different environment that's simple right. Exactly. Exactly. And, and not have to worry too much about anything and, else. And, and, but it, and it's also what's it take? Thirty seconds. Right. Like it's right. not a big deal. Right now, the only thing that I'm going to do now is do a replacement of that one thing. I want to make sure because HTML shows up also at the end of it. So if I replace right. HTML with the other folder, right. it might replace this part too. So I'm actually looking for something very unique. I think nothing else is going to show well, up like that yeah. in this particular instance. But basically what I'm looking for is just, um, the, you know, yeah, to, uh, yeah, something you something unique. So my point, you could just go and it's just name it, you know, right, exactly. Folder, HTML path, and then you're good to go, right? Right, that is correct. That like, is correct. Because like, it's that not naming 800 files, it's just the one right. folder. But anyway, yeah. So in this case, I'm going file by file, finding this particular path and replacing it with where I want to put it. So instead of creative HTML, I'm going to put it in creative as well, but I'm going to put it on, we said, uh, Word. Is it Word, right? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Well, so now... We'll be changing that after the fact, but yeah. Yes. Now, when you say after the fact? Well, because it's not going to be Word anymore, right? It's Yeah, it's going to be something else. But for now... Right, so I'm going to move it from HTML to Word. That's what I'm going to try but, to do. But hold on. I, I don't know if we definitely will. Oh, it'll be fine because you have the months under it. It's the month is what really. But, but... Right, and that, that's why I was asking about the year and the month. If that's the same in both folders, then the only thing that I have to change is this. If they were not the same, then I would have to worry about them. But in this case, I don't have to. Now, yeah, I'm when... just thinking about what I'm left over with. But it's going to be under Word. I have the months in the right. file in them, which is right, what I want. Right, exactly. And then we just move the Word. Right. We lose that folder and move right. it. Right. Exactly. But in this case, what I'm going to do now is this is my target. This replacement that I'm doing is definitely technically my target location. So when I run this what I should see in the output debug here is basically my target location, creative word 2022.01 and the file that I want to move there. So this gives me my target. 
Now the only thing that I have to do is a file move. So if I well, use file move, yeah. right? Um, and and I would even argue the just, source is a loop. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Just, well, just just because again, I'm I'm not nearly as confident as you are. You could do a copy, right? Because right, yeah, definitely. In this case, we could use instead of file move. If we want to just test, for example, that would be right. a very good. Because then the deleting is easy. Also, it's one exactly. Folder. It's one 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 stuff, right? So this here, I'm moving the file path, the original file path, into the replacement, which is the word location, which I just noticed is correct. So again, just for testing, I would go one by one and verifying that that's what is supposed to happen. So if I go to Word. 2022.01, I don't have any HTML files right. there. If I do the F9, right, and I do one step, one file should have moved, and there it is. So that's one. If I keep going, I would do several of them. All the files, the 06, the 13, the 20th, and the 27th, they have been moved. And then it would continue with the next folder. So everything is looking good. What? Now I can just let it run. I remove the break. Uh, let me just, let's do this. Let's stop because this is part of uh, just making sure that it gotcha. finishes. So I'm, at the end, I'm going to say a message box files moved. All right. So I'm good. And now let it run. It is doing this thing. It finished. Now, if you go to that folder, all the files should have been moved and we can safely delete the HTML file. So one way to check on that really easy is going to creative, going to word 2022, finding all files, right? And grouping them together. So by type. So I say, group right click group by type that way i could just say okay well, how many do i have ah oh, well they're different extensions well, yeah but i was gonna say you can put you can set, first say html on the bottom left you get the count right so exactly that's exact i was just gonna do the same if the word documents were all the same i should have got the same um but here's interesting I have 61 Word documents, well, whereas I have 54 HTML files. That's my question now. Like, am well, there's I... other stuff under Word, I think, that's not... Uh -huh. that, that's it. So, so I'm going to go to the HTML folder. I'm going to go here and find all the files here. So I'm going to get all the files. And so... In that folder, there are 54 HTML documents that were all moved right. correctly. Right. So I'm not missing any. I know that the script was successful. That's it. <laughs> like that was, that's the whole thing. Now, if you want to extend this, the functionality, like having a progress bar and doing other things, it gets a little bit trickier, but it's not that hard. One of the things is just looping through this first, getting the count to get the total amount of files that you're going to move, and then using a progress bar to from one to this. Which, right. Which is also one of the things, it won't matter in this case, but yeah. um, if we were moving different types of files, right, you're getting an index of the count, but what if one file's a gig and one file's 100K? When you're moving them, it's going to... It's you know, gonna it's gonna take longer, right? It's gonna seem like something's wrong, but yeah, it's, it's but it's fine for. The, what for I'm just for, trying to explain to people when you start running programs and you see the status bar like changing the speed, and you're right. like, "What's going on?" That's what's going on. They they didn't look <laughs> at the size of the files or whatever, exactly. right? They're, but yeah. But in this case, I think this little script usually, if you're moving files from one place to another, this is a very simple way of doing that. You don't have to write too much code. It's just a loop with a file yeah, copy or file move. That's right. it. Simplified by the fact that the paths were virtually identical. Right? Exactly. And th that's what made it so easy is the, right. because both folders were structured the same with the year and the month. If they were not, of course, this process would have been a little bit more complex, which is right. the power of organization right there. <laughs> just, well, just, yeah. right. That's my, my, my point of this is 
being a programmer, you got to, you looking for the identifying that pattern is, is what builds your program, right? right. Like it's what helps you understand how you're going to tackle it. Cause somewhere or another, you have to understand a pattern, right? Yeah, and that is right. This was a, a very simple approach. We could have tried other approaches, right? There, there's other ways we could have achieved this, but yeah, that was a very simple one of just um, swapping out that little bit. Yeah, that is right. All right, one. Uh, please like the video if you thought that was helpful. Uh, like I said, this was just a fun little exercise. I, I, uh, I've been meaning to do this for like three months, but I'm like, oh, whatever. I'll just finish the year. But I, now, <laughs> in hindsight, I'm like, yeah, we should have done it. You know, three months ago when I first yeah. realized, like, why am I organizing these where I have to navigate to different folders each? You know, after I create one, then I have to go navigate to the other one, and it's just annoying. I should right. be in one folder for doing this. <laughs> Converting from Word to deploying is going to simplify that. So awesome. Thank you. There you go.